Well, we got our Zeiss V6 scope mounted on top of our fin light here. It's chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum, and we found a load that it really likes to shoot, and that just happens to be this Precision Hunter ammo from Hornady, and we're shooting that 200 grain ELDX bullet, and we're well sub MOA um, with this load, so really happy with that. We have it zeroed at 100 yards now. So now what we're gonna do is set it up for long range, and there's a super easy way to do that, and Zeiss makes it really easy with the Zeiss hunting app. And it's a ballistic app that applies to every one of their scopes. You can choose whatever scope, whether it's the new V6, the V4, or even the old HD5s with the rapid Z's in them. All of the information is in here. So they make it super simple. All I need to do really is just plug in this factory ammo. And what it's gonna do is give me the yardage on all my secondary hash marks on my reticle. And it's also gonna tell me how many clicks I need to turn the turret if I wanna use the turret instead. It's pretty accurate. The only variable in there is muzzle velocity. And if you're only gonna be shooting four or 500 yards, the information they got in here is gonna be plenty. But if we start stretching that yardage and we wanna turn this into a thousand yard rifle for sure. So we need to know the actual muzzle velocity. Um, every rifle is different. Hornady's pretty honest with their muzzle velocities, but every rifle is going to be different. And we start stretching out ranges out to a thousand yards, you know, even 20 or 30 feet per second can make a big difference. So what I'm going to do here is test the muzzle velocity through the chronograph. Then we're going to go back in, enter that muzzle velocity in there, and then it's going to give us all the data we need to use the scope long range. So let's see what kind of muzzle velocity we're getting. So what we want to do is shoot three rounds uh, and take the average velocity of those three rounds. So I've shot two already. We'll put one more through and uh, get our average and then we can enter that information into our app. Okay, so it looks like we are... We're averaging right at 2830. So the app said we were going to be at 2850, so not too bad. So we'll punch 2830 into our app and then it'll give us our hash marks and the turns on our turrets for long range. I can do that all on my phone, but why don't we just run inside and I'll show you on the tablet where it's a little easier to see. Okay, we've got our tablet all set up here. So the first thing we want to do is go into the app store and we want to hit search and then we want to type in Zeiss hunting and what's going to come up is this Zeiss hunting app here and it's Zeiss hunting for the expert hunter. What you want to do is download that. Now obviously I've already got it downloaded so I'm just going to open it. When this first opens up you're going to have to um, accept that Zeiss knows your location and it's important that you do this because if it does know your location it will also know the weather for you are, so you won't have to put any of those variables in. It'll already know every time you open it, it'll be the exact temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, everything for when you open it. And you're just gonna go through a, a series of windows just explaining it all to you. And then we're gonna come back to the dashboard. The first thing we wanna do is go into settings and make sure your units are imperial. Uh, when it first comes, they are in metric. So what you want to do is just make sure it's Imperial. And then we're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to add an entry. So we got a Zeiss rifle scope. And what we've got here is a Conquest V6, three to 18 by 50. So I'm just going to click on that. So our sight height above the bore is two inches. Um, our sight in distance is 100 yards. Uh, what we're going to do is actually set it up for the reticle first. So right here it's got ASV. I'm just going to hit that and I'm going to hit reticle. And the reticle we have in this is the ZBR2. So we are shooting factory loaded ammo here. You can also put in hand load info if you want, but this is simple. So go to Hornady. Caliber is 300 Winchester Magnum and 300 Win Mag, there we are. And the bullet 
is we're shooting ELDX Precision Hunter 200 grain. So it's put everything in for us already. Um, it's got the ballistic coefficient of the bullet. It's got the muzzle velocity that's advertised by Hornady. Now we know our actual muzzle velocity is 2830, not 2850. So that's the one thing I am gonna change. So 2830, I wanna hit accept. And there we go. So I've got all the information in for that load. And I'm just gonna go to continue now. So see, it's given us our humidity, barometric pressure, everything. I just want to change the altitude. We are at 3,800 feet, and we're going to save that. We're going to name this profile, so let's call it Fin Light. Three hundred wind mag. Save. So now that'll be saved in here forever, and. So there we go. That gives us all the secondary hash marks on a reticle. That's really how simple it is. So I know that. Now, it's important that that's at 18 power. If I change my magnification, since this is a second focal plane scope, you'll see that your yardage changes on your hash marks, but it's simple just to leave it right at maximum magnification. And that gives you all you want there. Now, if I want to know clicks on my turret, it's just a matter of going to the table, and it's going to give you in 25 yard increments all the way up to 2,000 yards. And drop clicks right here. And all the way through. So it makes it really, really simple. I don't know if there is a more simple way to set a scope up. You definitely cannot do a Zeiss scope without the Zeiss app. So if you've got a V6, a V4, one of the old Rapid Zs, they all work perfectly in here or anything with external target turrets on it. Well, let's go see how accurate this is. Well, that was pretty simple, eh? So now what we need to do is actually truth everything that the app is telling us. And, you know, to be a responsible long-range shooter, you need to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to truth the reticle first. And what it's telling me is the second hash mark down is 476 yards. We set a gong up out there at 500. So I'm going to hold just slightly high on the black mark on there, and with any luck, I'll hit it. I love that sound. Okay. Well, just about needed to pack a lunch for that walk, but uh, looks like we're doing pretty good here. We're, uh, we got a lot of wind blowing here today, so our left and right, but I mean, our elevation is perfect. I held um, the hash mark right there on the block and you can see that give me that perfect 500 yard zero. So that's really good. Um, our left and right, we may have to wait for a little bit calmer day, but uh, I'm super happy with that. That app just put us bang on. I'd say that gun will shoot.